Are you looking for how to increase your vertical jump? Well, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that in this video. What's up everybody, Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com helping you become bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a vertical jump training workout that you can do to increase your vertical, jump higher, and dunk a basketball. Now, I have used these same exact exercises. These are directly out of my vertical jump training program. I have used these exercises to increase my own vertical jump to the point where I can dunk with two hands, throw myself alley-oops, and everything of the sort. And you can too by taking these exercises to the gym with you doing this workout and increasing your own vertical jump. All right, so the first thing that we did were squats, okay? We did squats with a resistance band. Now, if you don't have these resistance bands, I do recommend that you get them. I will leave a link down below for you in the description. Get Click the link. It'll take you to Amazon. You can buy these resistance bands and do banded squats for yourself. However, if you do not have the bands, do not fear. You can still increase your vertical. Just do normal squats. Now, we just did a progression. We did challenging weight for us. We did 35% of our max for six reps, and then 45% of our max for six, 50% of our max for four. It really doesn't matter. The percentages and the reps really don't matter. Just go up and up and up using challenging weight for you. So whatever weight is challenging for you, do that. Okay, use lighter weights for six reps. Then go up a little bit, do six reps. Then go up a little bit, do four reps. Then go up until it's pretty heavy for you until you can only do two reps. Okay, just com continue to progressive overload on these squats and you will increase your maximum strength, therefore increasing your vertical jump. As you can see, we didn't go too heavy. This was our last set. We did, what's that on there? That's 225 and a two and a half. We did 230 with the bands. The bands are 40 to 80 uh, pounds of resistance. So 230 pounds plus the bands for um a set of three. So once again, just continue to progressive overload and you will increase your maximum strength and increase your vertical jump. Moving on, okay, we are moving on to the next exercise. We did toe squats. These toe squats where we squat all the way down and then we explode up onto our toes. We did those for four sets of four. Okay, four sets of four. Now, when you do these, you want to do a normal squat. But as you can tell, up at the top, you want to do a calf raise. Okay, if you look at a vertical jump, when you do a vertical jump, you are jump, you are squatting down, not as far as these deep squats, but you go up and you go all the way through your toes. So you want to strengthen the muscles of your calves. You want to strengthen the muscles of your hamstrings, your glutes, your quads, your hip flexors, everything like that to increase your vertical jump. After we were done with the toe squats, we moved to kettlebell swings. Okay, kettlebell swings. Now, when you're doing these kettlebell swings, this is a great movement because it is a compound movement working on your posterior chain, your legs. Okay, your this mimics a vertical jump. If you look at a vertical jump, it looks a lot like a kettlebell swing. You swing your arms down and then you swing your arms up. So if you get stronger through this movement, you will have a stronger vertical jump. Okay, we did those kettlebell swings for four sets of six reps each. Then we moved on to walking lunges. If you haven't noticed yet, all of these exercises are big compound movements. A compound movement, all that that means is you are using more than one muscle group. Okay, We use our calves. We use our hamstrings. We use our quads. We use our posterior chain. We use our core. We use our lower back. Okay, By increasing the strength and power in all of these muscles, you will indirectly increase your vertical jump. Okay, so we did lunges. These walking lunges, we did three sets of 10 steps each leg. So we did five steps each leg on the way down, five steps of each leg on the way back. Those were our walking lunges, okay? All of these exercises, as I said, they're compound movements. They increase your maximum strength. To increase your vertical jump, you have to increase your maximum strength. So you have to get stronger and you have to increase your 
um, rate of force development. So you have to move the weights faster. So while you were doing all of these exercises like squats, toe squats, kettlebell swings, focus on going as fast as possible with good form. Okay. The last thing we did were hyper extensions with 25 pounds. We did three sets of 12 reps to increase that posterior chain and lower back strength. I will see you guys next time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested in a step-by-step -step vertical jump training program that can walk you through every set, every rep, and every exercise that you need to increase your vertical jump, jump higher, and dunk a basketball, I will link my very own vertical jump training program down below in the description of this video, or you can visit my website at www.nathanielmorton.com. If you are interested in vertical jump online coaching, you can once again click the link down below in the description or email me at nathanielmortoncoaching at gmail.com. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time.